I looked at him and I said, you better not say something. I already done preach now, so I don't get my doubt. I can go to jail now. Thank God, good.
Jesus of Hananiah. Amen. Hananiah was a false prophet. Jeremiah declared destruction on Israel because God told him to say so. But Hananiah said, don't listen to Jeremiah. Everything will be all right. Hallelujah, somebody. Listen to those gospel. When they tell you nothing is bad, all is good. That's the lie. In this world, you will have trials and tribulations. But be of good courage. I have already overcome the world. Thank God all right. We think we always got to be in a state of perfection and a state of happiness. Thank God all right. We need to pray a lot to ask God to forgive us of our sins. Somebody help me here. Because all have sinned to come short of the glory of God. We all are no good, only God is good. So when we get around these, I always say, Lord, forgive me for my sin. The one that I know they commit, yes I do, yes I do, know they commit. Those that I don't, that I committed, don't know that I committed it. Amen. Somebody, but if God forgive me, I, I want to cover everything. Help me, somebody, before I get to God and start asking them for my car, asking them for money, asking them for healing. I ask God to clean me up. The Spirit of God may dwell in us, but who are we all left? Who is the Spirit of adoption? Who has a witness to our spirit? And we are the children of God. Besides what he has done for us, he also kept our infirmities. But we don't know what to pray for. But the Spirit of God step in. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. And I stop by and say, he's not just going to make you jump up and shout. He's not going to make you just say, hallelujah. He's not only going to make you try to say a tear when you don't feel that crying. And not only gonna make you feel that fire shut up in your bone, but I stop out of that and he gives you power to live the Christian life. Dr. Charles Bentley is a first Baptist church, and I'm trying to build a whole ministry on the fact that the Holy Ghost gives you power to live the Christian life. We ought to want to be like Jesus. We ought to want to act like Jesus. Then. We ought to want to walk like Jesus. Then. But we can't do it ourselves. Because, God, we need the power of the Holy Ghost to give us the power to love our enemies. How many of us can love our enemies? Come on, y'all. That's what Jesus said for you to do. Hallelujah. One thing about Jesus, he's kind of radical. Because he got to tell us to love our enemies. Even though that this backlash news us. I was teaching Thursday night, I said, the law said and if somebody hits you on one cheek, turn the other cheek. One of my inventors said, Pastor, I ain't got that big yet. I haven't grown to that point yet. Please don't slap me, y'all. I say, y'all heard me say, Pastor, you always say for us to be real in the church. So baby, tell me the truth. I stop out of there and you know that. People can push your button and you're going to forget who you are. Those that love the Lord. Somebody going to step on your soul, you're going to forget that you're a member of a Baptist church. Hallelujah, somebody. Somebody puts you the wrong way, you're going to forget that the Lord says, pray for your enemies. Thank God all right. I stop out and tell you, Jesus talks some radical stuff. But can you live what he says this about? Thank God all right. He said, if they talk about you, pray for them. Hallelujah. Let me one of my life, most of all, he said, when they do you bad, do them good. When they talk bad about you, do good unto them. 